Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Welcome to the wide underworld of sports, brought to you by Gluttony, where Tantalus Tuesdays are back. Slide on down to the third circle today for a bottomless bounty of fruit and wine that shall ever remain just out of reach. Ooh, sounds frustrating. Now on to the action. It was an all-out soccer slugfest in Mega Health Day as the 12 and one took on a ragtag team of teens, feds, and demonic royalty. Head ref Lucifer the Morning Star was handing out red cards like it was Valentine's Day. But one player who escaped his attention, and everyone else's, was prodigal prince of hell, Hermie the Unworthy. In play after play, Hermie was left high and dry by his teammates, who seemed to forget he was even there. Let's check out the highlights. Morrow struggles to find opening. Hurry, the unworthy is wide open. Wait, no, she shoots. It's good. It's a goal. Looks like it's all up to me, per usual. Another incredible save by Hermie. This kid's a wall. Wait, what's that down there? Looks like goalie Taylor Swift is dragging an unconscious legally Wilson back to the penalty box. That's the exact yeah. same spot where Hermie's already covering. Yeah. There, finally I'll get some defense back here. Normal Oak Garcia crawling towards Hermie the Unworthy. Looks like the team clerk might throw a spell or two. Wait a moment! He crawls right past his teammate. What is he doing? He goes straight to the dead body of teammate Brad Schmeggen and tears him from the celestial embrace of the Almighty Father. Come on, Schmeggen, you're our only hope! Ace reporter Amelia Earhart is down on the field for a post-game interview with Hermie the Unworthy. Amelia. Do you guys remember who we wanted to talk to? Yes, it's me, Hermie, here for the interview. Was it Jody? It was Jody, I'm right? I'm literally standing right here. I'm waving to the camera right now. Somebody notice me! I'm notice sorry. Me. I'm drawing a blank. But you know what they say. If you don't remember, it probably wasn't important. Up next, more NFL stars are turning to Christ on their deathbeds. What does that mean for the upcoming Hell vs. Heaven Pro Bowl? Find out after this. Well, the Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. Actually, it's a D and D podcast. Um, uh, actually, it's a D and D podcast. It's about four teens from our world going through some strife as they try and figure out how to save our world from another world. Whatever, man. Who wrote this? My name is Dude, we're in hell do, right now, man. I love that the season started as a Monster of the Week thing and has just turned into a JRPG where four teenagers <laughs> have to kill God. That is, like, that is, that's, that's a JRPG. That's, I that's think a that's JRPG beautiful and yeah. That actually turned me around in this whole season. I like this season. <laughs> yeah. 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 My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift. Jimmy, how about you shut up during my <laughs> intro? Whoa. I need some. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Spicy. Jimmy's with us once again. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift. The rock and roll. No, I'm not. I'm the <laughs> icy cool. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Zany Ranger teen. Yes, yeah, right. Zany. We're adding adjectives until one of them sticks. Uh, this week's teen fact for Taylor. Taylor does play sports and has played sports growing up. You know, sort of the ones you expect. He has always made a beeline, just like he did in the previous episode. Always made a beeline to goalie because his belief was that like, yeah, goalie, you can just sit there. And it's true. Wow. You can just sit there. I just came up with like a teen fact for Taylor that I think is like really good. Oh, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's switch it up this week. Oh, um, we got to all throw our character sheets into yeah. a big bowl. Let's do that. <laughs> um, if you I have one for me that, too, that'd be nice. I think that Taylor played T ball until he was like 16 <laughs> because he just could never actually hit the ball. But they're like, well, you still want to play champ. So like, go ahead, and just even, tee that up. And I'll even go so far as to say the problem is, is because Taylor never internalized the baseball swing because he believed that like, if he figured out and got the muscle mechanics for the baseball swing down, it would fuck him up because his inability to cut through tatami mats with a fucking oh. katana Right, would be affected. There's a very specific cutting technique. Does Taylor this. ever try to like? He's got the baseball bat, and then he just like pulls it a little bit back and forth, and hopes it'll do a, a home run. Like when they do the yeah, little, that's the what that's what it is. Taylor never swung. He would always just be like, Shh, Shh, and then it'd be like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, just one time, it's going to fucking sail through. But no, it hasn't ever happened. Goalie right. Taylor. That was my thing. All right, Matt, fact. we've stalled long enough. Yeah, hey, Matt I, forgot oh, his dad fact before okay. the it's episode started. One. I, I might have done this one before, but whatevs. Ooh. Hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold. <clears throat> I got a little tickle on my throat, too. <laughs> You're all trapped in here with me. 
No, I'm fine. My throat sounds a little weird, though. Hey, everybody, my name is Matthew Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Matt <the> Arnold, <laughs> throat goat, giving us them throat updates. Nice. The protective paladin of the group. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. I'll start over. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, the schooled at home soccer kid who's the protective paladin of the group. Really, really, really quick fact about Lincoln. His favorite meal is, can you guess? Spaghetti. Soccer. Crumbs. Anyone with his parents. No, like <laughs> meal. Something foot. Something with feet. Not food. Like what meal of the day? Oh, oh. lunch. Lunch. Whichever one he has with his parents. <laughs> After kicking a thing. Dessert. Orange slices with his dad something, that he loves so much. Dad's. Man, dad's. God, just, my dads are great. It's just brunch. It's just a nice brunch. That's okay. it? That's that it? it? Yeah, it's brunch. Mm, You're such a nice piece brunch. of shit. What? Fuck nice you, brunch. Matt. <laughs> Fuck you, Matt. Matt is a, brunch? is a bad person. <laughs> Agree? <laughs> yeah. He's a brunch boy. Well, uh, he's, he's a brunch, brunch boy? <laughs> that sounds really pejorative. <laughs> that sounds nothing, like the worst nothing slur. Nothing nicer than a little brunch with your dad's on a Sunday. Yeah, you little fucking there brunch boy. Little virgin uh, why? mimosas. Why? Don't use that word. No. Virgin mimosas? I thought you were a brunch boy. Just my virgin little brunch boy. Have you ever had the reverse mimosa, Matt? Just vodka? No, no, the reverse mimosa is orangina and white wine. Oh, okay. That actually gosh. sounds pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it sounds I delightful. Would do it. it works. It You're totally works. Don't not really reverse because both of those are bubbly, but okay. White, white wine bubbly. is not bubbly. Oh, I was thinking sparkling white wine. Oh, orangina is carbonated? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's fine. That's good. I see. Man, All right. real, a couple of real Orangina heads on the I podcast. Love Yo, what up, Orangina yeah. heads? What up, Orangina <laughs> Text your girls. You're either a brunch boy or you're a Gina head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally thought it was Orange Gina. Yeah. yeah. When we all get together, we have what are called orgies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, guy who, the guy who created the Amazing Orange really put his whole Orange Gina into that one. Wow. The, amazing <laughs> the Amazing Orange? The Annoying <laughs> Orange. No, he's amazing. He's <laughs> the people across the world. Right. Uh, Follow me. So you're hey, a, a bucko I'm, brunch boy. I got it. Well, we don't use that word here. Hey, sorry. Sorry. Um, Slow down. Just cool off a little, Jimmy. Just, okay. just relax. Take a walk, buddy. Hey, everyone. I'm Will Campos. I play normal Oak, the perky, peppy, chipper, jerry, school spirit mascot kid who doesn't know who he is anymore. Uh, here's normal's teen fact this week. This entire adventure, he's still been doing that homework. He's got Aww. like, he's just like all Wait, his assignments. Wow. He's still clocking them in. He's not getting good grades on them, but he's, re he's doing the reading. He's got his contacts and all what's of his he, classes. Wait, where, what homework, though? We're in school, Matt. No, School's but where's he going getting on. the homework? He's got he his contacts. He's got know? a packet. And he then he's casts a little out. spell and he talks to his friend Jenny, who's in English class with him, and she gives him the download on like what the new English homework is and what they're reading. They're reading Dane Brown's okay, The Da Vinci well, Code right now. Lincoln, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lincoln, no reason to distrust normal, but you're saying this entire time you've had a contact to the real world. It could have been yeah, getting. That's fine. It's to do homework. It's not to <laughs> betray the team. It's to do homework. Normal sounds a little tired this week. It's not because Will maybe has a tickly throat. It's Ooh. because he was up all night doing his pre-calc homework. Will's wow. in a little TV monitor here because he's separated from us because he, he may be he's a little He's got sicky. a little cold. Yeah, Will potentially has a cold, so he is being fed through a very complex <laughs> AV setup. If you detect it, not like food-wise. He's food being wise, fed we're not by zookeepers. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> he's, being, he's in our room I'm with that, us. I'm in that milking machine. That <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's in Freddie's apartment in a separate room. We can see him on a monitor because Freddie has cameras all over his room so he can watch himself fuck <laughs> after the fact. And he's milking we, himself. We, and, he's, <laughs> and he's getting milked by my milking machine. <laughs> but we have Ew. cameras into his enclosure, and he, he has been provided enrichment. Yeah, that's why Fred, it's a really he's happier here than he would be in the wild. <laughs> yeah, you can stop that's, protesting, Anthony. That's definitely true. <laughs> okay, my name is Beth May, and I play Scary Marlo. Boo! Boo! She's the best. You know She's, She's, She's a fine. goth punk seeker of darkness who, who is sucks. not like the other <laughs> warlocks. And fun teen fact about Scary this week is that her favorite animal is the pied flycatcher. What? Pied flycatchers sometimes cooperate to mob a predator if their neighbor is at risk, but if they don't like their neighbor, their other pied flycatcher, then they do not cooperate. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Seems like Beth's trying to communicate to us through yeah. bird facts. Right no, now. I uh, literally, it's just a fun fact. It's That's just a fun, a fun fact. I, I do don't know like if you're reading into it or anything, but it's just a fun fact. <laughs> I'm don't just go it. I'm Googling the pied flycatcher. It definitely looks like a pretty goth bird. Like, it's like a black and white bird. Like, I definitely see Whatever why Whatever you this. do, don't look up pied flycatcher pronunciation. <laughs> so then I might be fucked. <laughs> pied. <laughs> pied fly. Pied flycatcher. Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, hey, everyone. What's up? My name is Jimmy Wong, Boo. playing Jody Foster. Oh. <laughs> uh, once more into the sunset, Jody's- Jimmy gets a beatbox every time. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh, Joey's fun fact <laughs> is, is he dog? Is that a Pornhub beat? What is that? Oh, no, what? that's like... That, that's some 808s, dog. I have no idea what that sounds like, Will. <laughs> you know what that sounds <laughs> like. Yeah, it so, must be nice to live a life where you can listen to Pornhub with sound. <laughs> <laughs> There's sound on that song? <laughs> <laughs> so, Joey's... Porn's never been the same since I went into that talkie era. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you used to watch Silent Born and it would have to cut to, uh, to the text, a title yeah. screen of somebody saying, oh, fuck, oh, oh fuck, fuck, and oh, they no. back. Yeah, and you'd have to hold the roll while, yeah. you, while you read the text, like, okay, okay, cool, The cool, piano cool, player's cool. there, like, man, I should have gotten a better job. Yeah. Yeah. Singing in the rain, but it's porn. It's like, the lady's like, they don't want me anymore because my voice is too annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. I can't stand this car! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fucking David Lee Roth fucking stems from fucking... Van Halen. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> uh -huh. Well. Sorry, uh, Jimmy. I do have a dad fact. Uh, <laughs> Jody's dad fact is that in order to remake yeah. his life and become the man that he wants to be, basically to get his old life back, mm -hmm. he's uh, resorted to buying books that are on recommended lists that oh. are inspirational. Oh. And, uh, and so he's got like the Obama, like 10 <laughs> Obama's Red Books of the Year. We're talking more like 12 Rules for Life by Jordan B. Peterson. Oh, oh, no. He's no. Oh, in hell. Oh, I knew yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this time around, he actually has the book in front of him. It's uh, Warrior of the Light. This is by Paolo Coelho, who is actually the author of The Alchemist. So this I is hated The Alchemist. And, and Veronica Decides to Die, which is a better book, in my opinion. But what he does is he'll just flip to a random page and oh, no. every day, and he'll, he'll read a passage Please, from it no. and let that inform how he's going to live his Jimmy, life. Jimmy, we can't do this for uh, copyright reasons. See, I can't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, do it. So there's 136 uh, pages. I just want someone to give me a number, and we'll, we'll just do a little bit of Jody's daily exercise. 69. 69. 69. 69. 69. This page is a little sticky. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, that's disgusting. Just me. Why? Wait, why? 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 Yeah, why? Did you why? come on it? Is there a picture in Did there? Did you ejaculate no. on your book? <laughs> anyway, this one says, a warrior of the light accepts his personal legend completely, and the warrior... <laughs> I want to give this guy a fucking noogie. His companions <laughs> say, he has remarkable faith. For a moment, the warrior feels proud, then immediately or feels ashamed. <laughs> or she. <laughs> Got to empower. He... <laughs> He immediately feels proud and ashamed of what he, uh, he or she has heard because he or she does not have they as much faith as they appear to have. At that moment, his angel whispers, you are only I an instrument care. of the light. There is no reason to feel proud or to feel guilty. Let's find this there guy. There are only and... reasons to feel happy. And the warrior of the light, a.k.a. Jody, aware now that he is but an instrument, feels calmer and more secure. Dude, this guy deserves such a swirly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to take his fucking it. lunch money. I hated yeah. the alchemist. I never read it. I never, I never will it, now. I never started shit. beef with some author. On Is he still alive? Out. Well, you know, a warrior of the light knows his own faults. So, <laughs> just so you know. cool. I'm Anthony Birch, daddy master and a uh, warrior of the light. <laughs> I, don't really like, wow. I don't really have a dad fact today, other than the fact that Beth got me a really nice t-shirt that has the IHOP <laughs> logo, but it says I hope, and then it has a crying pat of butter on top of a bunch of pancakes. And the bottom of the shirt says that hell doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, they should not listen to this podcast nor say the word bucko. When we last left you, you were, as we have so often done, in the middle of a big, like, kind of sports thing that we then kind of just stopped doing halfway through because plot reasons. In this case, the plot reason was that you managed to get the pick, which is an anchor, away from Glenn. Barely. Link managed to grab it, and then Link snapped it in half. <gasps> so... Link, can you tell me a little bit about what's going through your mind? Let's, when go, into the yeah, mind. let's go into the mind of a Link and Lee I'll Wilson. Say that I, thought, I didn't think that was going to be the end of the episode, so now wait, I got to get back into this mind space of this moment. Everyone clear, clear okay. out masks doing he's, his he's thing. He's going to run into his mind palace. You're Link and Lee Wilson. <laughs> You're just 12 years old. He's 12? <laughs> he's two gifted. years ago, he was 12 years old. <laughs> You're 12 plus two. 12 plus two. <laughs> is this, is this, 13. <laughs> okay. This is the fucking Watchmen fucking old monologue two years oh, ago. Oh, that's I what was, it was. He's two bad years at ago, math. I was that's 12. what it was. My fact was going to be that the fucking normal soccer ball shape confounds him. And that's why he tried to learn geometry. But he doesn't get how those shapes can make a ball. It doesn't make sense. Oh, like sense. a bunch of and pentagons fucking, or whatever. But they're not just pentagons. Yeah, some some are other. pentagons, but some are hexagons. It makes no sense. That's why his dad's always got by him the volleyball. Go back to your ASMR. Ones. Anyways, okay. <laughs> I break it. <gasps> there, okay. What the heck? Scary. What nice. are you doing? Hell yeah. It's normal, just, I don't know. I don't know normal. What do you mean okay? you don't know? Why'd you break the pig, Because bro? I just, I can't. I can't. I just can't anymore. I can't. 
look at these adults. They're fighting over whatever. And my dad kill people and I've killed like I try to do the right thing I killed them I don't know what this is I said I love you it doesn't do anything I just can't I don't know who to trust I don't know what to do but I scary I just can't not have you with us anymore like you four are the only people I have and I don't know to trust you but I can't trust anybody else at this point and I don't know I don't trust Willie either but she said this is the way for less people to die and she I just don't said want that to Willie said that was the way so we don't what know. are you doing I broke it because and I'm glad it's broken now we got it so yeah. what's the big deal? It's we like it. we're two fourths of the way done, right? And then we can just that's stop all half. this. So it sounds like the thing that's motivating you to break it was a combination of fear and love for keeping scary in the group. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, I think he doesn't want to get into a fight and he doesn't know what to do. At least this will maybe help her because he doesn't want to push her away anymore. Sure. That's fucking that's love, baby. So let's leave it up to the gods. Why don't you roll a D20 and Uh-oh. one through 10, you're going to have a little bit more fear than love and 11 through 20, you're going to have a little bit more love than fear. Just like real life. Wait, was high good or bad? High is good. Oh, I got 17. Okay. Oh! Look, look. Normal, you see an explosion of blue come from the blue anchor. Blue cum? Yeah, blue cum <laughs> come from the anchor all over you. The Pornhub theme plays. And you feel a positive energy emanating from the explosion of cum from the guitar pick. And you know that something has changed in the balance of how the doodler is currently feeling. There was nothing but negative energy in it before, but now the negative and the positive are kind of Fuck. balanced out. Oh, thank God. What? Oh, that was really scary. Whoa. Damn. I mean, what's wrong? Like, I broke the thing. Yeah, yeah, but you had like a little more. It went well. It went good. Okay. It didn't go good. Why not, Scary? I did what you asked me to do. I know, but don't trust me. I am I told you what to do, but why'd you do it out of love? Like, I why, didn't. I why just, can't you hate me like everybody else? Well, because I don't know. Maybe I do. I just know that the four of us have to do this together. I don't know. I don't hate you. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, if you want me to hate you, I'll hate you. I'm mad at you. Yeah. So but that's not the same as hating someone. Like I'm mad at a lot of translators over the years, but that doesn't mean I hate them. Doesn't mean I hate them. Looks scary. Like what have the three of us done? I just don't know. I get why maybe you trust this Willie guy more than your dad, but like why you just trust the three of us? Like I did Wait the thing minute. you asked. Where is Willie? N- Nick came back, but Willie didn't. Where where is he? So Nick hears you say his name and leaps off of the bleachers over the soccer field and lands in what would be blade stance, but he doesn't have any arms. Uh, in front of you. <laughs> We're still all pretty legless over here too, right? Yeah, like you're, still, still, you're okay. still on the field. I'm just, Oh yeah, so to update everybody on the leg situations, uh, <laughs> the ones who lost your legs, you're next to your legs, and Jody and Glenn are currently fighting over the same leg and are currently cat-dogged together by that leg. Nick comes over and casts some low-level limb reattachment spells on everyone that's not Jody and Glenn. So you have your, your limbs back now. Link crosses his finger, hoping for like a, what's the rookie of the year situation? He's like, come on. And he winds up his leg to uh, kick the ball. Funky butt loving? No, what's the one where he like breaks his Sorry? arm? Yeah, that's, that's rookie of the year. Yeah, rookie of the year. Yeah. Yeah. What is funky butt loving? It's, oh, it's well, a gag where he's testing out his throwing arm after he gets uh, the cast off and he hits the doctor in the nose and the doctor goes, funky butt loving. And, <laughs> and as was the rule for jokes in the 90s, they had to have another character repeat it by going, did he just say funky butt loving? And it's somehow funnier the second Shit, time. That's a good joke. It's a good that's joke. A, I mean, that's just a good joke, like format, like a meme format. You yeah. Do, that more do often. it and then do it again. Yeah. Anyways, wow. I, I assume I just kick the ball normally. I think there's a one in 100 chance. Yeah. That you now have a rookie of the year leg situation. Yeah, can I see? What's the chance? Yeah, roll D100. If you get a 100, you'll get it. Damn it, I got 73. Oh, so close. All right, there's normal kick. 73 and warrior of legs. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick says he's back in uh, San Dimas. Did I hear right? This You're friends with him? Well, I, it's more like a mentor and then like... Yeah, yeah, don't like, trust her. Kind uh, of, it's really weird. Dad. So he turns to you, Taylor, and he goes, I got to say, I was sort of in favor of you going your own way and sort of being a Ronin walking the wastes alone without your friends. But you all did manage to, like, do a thing. So I yeah. guess credit where credits do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got two well, of them. It's more like a mentor chosen one kind of scenario. She thinks she's the chosen one. Clearly, I am the chosen one. These are my compatriots, my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. These are my sidekicks, oh, if that, you will. You're not, no, you're not, neither are you the chosen one. I, I also, I'm the chosen one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, mm, what's spit up, it out. What's up, normal? All right, all right, cards on the table. Do we want Scary back in the group? Like, I know that we just had a fun soccer game, but like, she's against us. She doesn't want what we want. 
Willie sucks. Scary, remember, she killed a guy? She helped him kill yeah. a guy? None of that changed. So no offense, Scary, but like, we're all talking like it's all in the past, but it's like, this is very much in the future, right? Like that came really close, Link, and like, I don't know, like, you were trying to help her. Like, I'm happy that it wound up helping me, but like, you were trying to help her and you were all like, well, I, got, I want Scary to trust me, but like, do you not care if I trust you? Like, that was yeah. a really risky move, dude. So like, I don't know, like, I'm okay, just feeling but a what's little not, like- It's fine, what's not been a risky move? What are you talking about? We've been doing this whole- Do we? Wh- okay. Let's fast forward. This is all I'm saying. Let's fast forward to the next anchor. Look, I'll Scary say this. wants to destroy it. We don't want to destroy it. What are you going to do? I, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. That's not good enough, but man. We focus, no, Scary's focused on this 100% of the day. Every day, 24-7. She's not doing homework like you are. I see you late at night <laughs> focusing on homework. We got to keep our head in the game. What? Yeah, what we're trying I, to save the world here, and you're doing math. What? You got to contact the whole outside useful. world. Maybe someday we'll have to get the sign of a cosign to figure out something with a doodler. You don't know. The only cosigning you'll be doing is signing your own death warrant. On the, on the, yeah. on the, on the, maybe you'll find that I you're the only on one who wants what here. you want. Nobody's. You guys are on trial here. I have been consistent about what I want from day one, which yeah, is to help the doodler. Yeah, and maybe it doesn't line up with what we want. Well, no. So maybe you should be the one that gets lost. Maybe I should. Scary, stop it. Don't you just see, like, everybody's bad. I don't know what what you're worried about normal there's no good people there's no bad people like you don't like your dad my dad's bad too everybody's bad so can we just so, try to minimize well just not everybody's people bad that die who who's not he nods over at normal he goes normal, normal sister the chosen one <gasps> I, I, i'm sorry your sister your sister normal but oh That's you, they didn't sister oh, hero? Okay. funny joke i didn't know your parents didn't tell you oh they, the, mm. My my I'm so, mm, 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 or your, not your uncle either. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. Yeah, oh. you're the. Oh, I shouldn't be the one to tell you this. Yeah. What? We just said. You were a what we would call in the parental world a pleasant surprise. Okay, that's that's I'm okay with that. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, great. you know, it's great. a present surprise that you know you got this son and he turned out so great, right? Sure. Yeah. Why would what you, do you know mean that? by surprise? Well, because they just wanted to have the one hero. Oh. And there's a family sort of power that sort of got passed down. And she sort of got like the best stuff, and you I are up. you. So that's something to be proud of, I guess. But I don't want to distract you from the argument you guys are having. <laughs> this is oh. this is why I don't have friends, so I don't have to do this kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna wait, 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 maybe wait, wait, step wait, wait, back. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying my sister? Oh yeah, so cool, Dad. So the whole doodler bloodline thing got passed to my sister, and I'm like, what am I in this? Just nothing. That's a great question for your dad. Man, there's just more proof. You're a jerk. Yeah, we get it. Like, I didn't do anything. Yeah, why are like, yeah, why'd you bring it up? Well, okay, don't f- come at me just because you found out your mom and dad didn't want you, man. Don't get mad at me <laughs> for that. Just <laughs> calm down. And Hermie goes, I know what it's like to be unwanted. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Hermie, Hermie, where were you? I've been here the entire time oh. trying to help you. Every yeah. single, single thing I said went unheard and unlistened to. I feel like I should have had to roll for that if that was like... <laughs> go, ahead, that- go ahead and roll then, coward. <laughs> All right, maybe I will. Perception. You perceive Hermes pissed. <laughs> I got a natural one. Exactly. Oh! Exactly my point. The dice never lies. The dice I'm, knows. I am sorry, Hermie. I'm I'm sorry, man. Do you I... know how much Ted Lasso I've watched? I had so many strategies <laughs> for how we could both be better as a team and as a family. Well, we are winning the game, though. Is this game still even going? Yes. While you've been talking, it feels like the other team just scored like a bunch of goals. <laughs> oh. But you've been talking for a while now. And then Glenn and Joey are like, what the fuck, Joey? We could have stopped those goals. You know how long I've been trying to fucking do this, man? Yeah, do it again. Just reset, you coward. Oh, my God. Fucking give me my wait, mic. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, wow. It's a whole family gathering here. Hermie, great job in the game. Uh, Shut other- the fuck up, dad. <gasps> oh, jeez. Okay, it other son, you right can, you, uh, can you reattach my uh, limmy, limmies here? And I'm going to squish out Glenn Close's feet from my stumps and uh, grab my legs. Nick, Nick, over here. Who you, who you me up? Uh, his legs kind of go like one direction and then the other. He's like, oh, which one do I, what do I pick? And so I'm going to just have him roll for it. So first he goes <laughs> to Jody and reattaches Jody's legs, and then he goes to you, Glenn, and reattaches your legs. I'm going to put a hand down and help Glenn up. I spit in your hand. I give on my own accord. Nick, who is just about to open his mouth to say something to his dad, just kind of sniffs and goes, yeah, that's what I thought this would be, and just starts walking away uh, <laughs> as I'm you gonna, argue with each other. I want to make the most of my time here. I'm going to attempt to kick Glenn in the nuts as hard as I can. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Rolled in 18. All right, what's your AC, Frederick? 14. All right, it hits. You get a devil foot right in the ding dong. Yeah, so I just kick Glenn as hard as I can in the nuts, and I look at the rest of the group and go like, look, I know... <laughs> <laughs> Link shakes his head and just walks away. Like, I was gonna get to walk away, Link. I was gonna shake my head and walk away. Yeah, well, we you should all walk away. This problem because you can't make up your mind about what you want to do. Oh, exactly oh, wait, what wait. that normal uh, wait, person said. Okay, 
I'm trying to be cool here. Normal? Are you serious? Like, I don't make up my mind. I did the thing. I you broke it. I tried to help people before, right? And firefighters died. Every time we're in a situation, this is how normal talks. Hey, maybe we should do this or maybe this. I don't know. I want to do the right thing, but I don't want to do the wrong thing either. Will somebody make the decision for me in the end? And Damn, then somebody that's a does great it. Normal Thank impression. you. And then somebody <laughs> does it. And then you get to be on the high ground now. All I want to do is not kill more people, okay? Kermie's got his hand on his chin. He's studying care. your normal. All I've like, done oh. is try to help you three. Like, I just want to be with the three of us and can't we just do it? I was just going to sit here and ask Scary what she learned so we can concentrate on the thing so we can be done with all this. I'm sorry, okay? Anyway, okay. I was trying to say that you kids Jody! don't really have Jody! a choice. Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh my god, I you kick Jody in, in the hell. nuts. I run up. Roll attack. And roll I, attack. I want to roll, I want to roll D100 to see. I want a second chance at the rookie of the year. All right. You can either roll a regular attack or the D100. You can't do both. I'm rolling the D100. All right. I got 57. All right. So I made my statement, though. You fucking <laughs> missed completely. You hit his inner thigh. Whatever. He's got a really no, no, strong like inner hard thigh. to miss when it's that small. I still, and I, walk off. I still pretend like I actually got hit in the nuts. Okay. Just to, you know, play it up. But I go, hey, look, you kids, I've seen a lot of things in hell, and you don't want to split up. You guys have to find some kind of way to become friendly because, look, I'm sure that scary over here is more complicated and has more things going on than you guys are even thinking about. Oh, Just do some amount of like teamwork. Ask <laughs> what is happening. Because you know what? This Willie guy, I'm going to agree with everyone else. He kind of sucks a lot, but everyone has reasons for doing what they're doing. So if you at least decode some of that, maybe you can stop bickering like a bunch of children and I can get back to running hell the way I want Nick to. Nick says, ignore my shitty dumbass dad. Uh, <laughs> you should separate. You should all separate into individual adventures. What, like your arms have been separated from your body, Nick? Come on, man. Morgan is like, oh, honey, don't say that. She's like, we're all better off on our own. See this argument that we're all having? This doesn't happen when you're on your own. So uh, peace out. And he kisses his fingers that would be there if they were there. <laughs> hey, I'll give you guys a ride back to wherever you want to go. And then Glenn from the ground has crawled over underneath Jody's legs and he goes, Dakota, this bitch <laughs> he's gonna, gonna show you Ken right. Ken upper like like fucking Ryu uppercut style dragon punch yeah. into the gooch gonad area alright give me an attack roll Jimmy I'm going to kill you <laughs> that's a plus 7 to my hit DC on an unarmed strike and that's a natural 20 wow 27 alright well, right, well natural 20 hits. you get to determine what happens bro I uppercut your balls and you fly straight <laughs> to the top floor of fucking hell. No. You know what? You know, you know when like a cartoon character when they run away really fast but their eyeballs stay behind? <laughs> yeah. snap, like the testicles are like still are like still there. And it's the opposite. His testicles go up and the rest of his body oh, follows right. them. <laughs> he goes Pew! He disappears and it sounds like a gunshot ricocheting off of a hard rock. Okay, well as I fly upwards the last thing I say is splitting up is what caused this whole thing in the first place. Bye! Do we want to help the doodler or to kill the doodler? I would like to not have to kill the doodler. Let's just get away from all these people who are not helping us and just let's just talk to Scary and get more information because she had some and then the soccer game happened and I don't know what to do. Maybe I did the wrong thing, but kissing it or whatever we did didn't do it in that moment. I just want the least amount of people to die as possible and for less blood to be on my hands. Dad, we need a safe house, a retreat. Sounds like we got some shit to iron out here in the group. Sure. What realm do you want it to be in? So there's one in Goof Realm, but I'm not sure how to get there. And then Harvey goes, I do. And then <laughs> Nick says, and then there's one in Earth, as I know it, the big, dark, butthole land. So I don't know. Where do you want to go to set up your safe house? So those are the two places there's an anchor? Those are, that's the two places there's an anchor, or it can take you back to San Dimas. Oh. Where Normal, do you have a priority? Do you care? My priority is to figure out whether I can trust you guys right now, frankly. Mm -hmm. You know, let's go to my house. Oh. There's snacks. Oh, we you got the pantry. Down. We can talk it out, and um, we can see how this goes. Sounds like the most boring thing I could literally All right, well, think of. in that case, you know, maybe I'll just go by myself and I'll just leave you guys and you guys can figure out how to figure this shit out on your own. Nick goes, sounds good, and carves with his horn a portal to your house in San Dimas, formerly the Forgotten Realms, now what you know is home. Oh, I, I was let's, kind of just saying that. We're, I don't, I'm, 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 oh, you know. I'll go. No, let's go. Scary, just just come with us, okay? Well, I can make can, more portals. No, like, let's just, can we just, for just right now, just all stay together for one more time? Like, let's get snacks. That sounds good, normal. So we get snacks and talk. Is yeah. that cool? Yeah. Scary, yeah. please. I need to drop off my homework anyway. <sighs> Do you have Twizzlers? Uh, no, but we've got <gasps> great. We've got the other one. We got Fucking red vines. Red vines. Yeah.
Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So you're going to step through the portal into Normal's dining room. We is that all correct? flick off Jody. I'm not even there. I yeah. don't feel it. I'm a warrior of the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're flicking off a Jody sized silhouette that like exploded into the roof and then up through all the other uh, ceilings of hell. I would like to know though, does Glenn ever finish killing these last demons of hell? No, I think you all Glenn, left before you did it. <laughs> as nice, as nice, everyone nice. leaves, Glenn goes like, "Ah, shit! Looks like we're back to square one, babe." <laughs> Morgan goes, "Don't ba you two just kicked each other in the balls over and over <laughs> while your son is me. and your grandson is here. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should practically go with them. You guys suck." Uh, yeah, we do. You do. Can I establish a psychic link to Hermie and just say some <laughs> things as a father before he leaves my realm once more? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so Jody, from the now top level of hell, closes a light. Son, <laughs> son, son, <laughs> son Hermie. <laughs> I'm sorry for abandoning you. I love you for what it matters. Bye. Wow. <laughs> now it. you're allowed to talk back? That really oh, yeah, covers yeah. it. Is there anything you would like <laughs> to <laughs> say? It's to too me? late. It's too late. You said bye. <laughs> oh, Hermie, you should come along with us. <laughs> oh, oh, I got to go too. Thank you guys so much. Wow, geez Louise. Here I come. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and he walks through the portal. He walked kind of mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are back in San Dimas. Is it weeks later or is this different yes. type of portal? So yeah, when you come back through the portal, the first thing you notice is there's a lot of flashing red and blue lights outside of the windows <laughs> of the house. Uh -oh. Cop lights? Oh, man. Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. um, the second thing you notice is that there's nobody in the dining room. It's really, really quiet. Mom? So we're from, all I'm home. From upstairs, you hear your mother go. Normie? Oh, oh my God. And you, you're rushing hurriedly down the stairs, a assault rifle slung over her Whoa. shoulder, two pistols on her hip. And she goes, where were you? Your dad's been looking for you all over the city and the, and the mayor and, and, and Willie and all. What's, what's going on? Where were what's, you? Where were we? were in hell. It's complicated, but what's going on? <laughs> Um, <laughs> she goes, your sister is out there somewhere. I, I can't find her. And Willie's got the, the whole town on lockdown to, to deal with the mayor and stuff. And, and, and I'm locked in here and I don't know where your dads are. Dad, your dad and your uncle. I don't know where your dad and your uncle are. <laughs> okay, um, so you're like, what? There's just like the mayor's running around causing problems? That's what I'm picking up right now? Is that what's going on? So your mom narrows her eyes and she goes, that's the story they want us to think. Oh, no. And then she s fucking swipes a bunch of shit off of her wall and turns it around with a button press and it's got like a bulletin board with a bunch of pictures connected to each wow, other with red twine. Yarn. Yeah, this is our family project board. Ow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, I repurposed it for my conspiracy board. But my thinking is that the mayor... And this Willy guy, it might be a false flag operation. Uh, okay. You uh, have my attention. Go on. <laughs> so every time the mayor and Willy have clashed publicly, which has happened several times, and it's been very visually appealing. <laughs> 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 it's always been to a draw. Neither one of them has won. That seems unrealistic. And more than that, the more that the mayor's influence has spread and the more her acolytes have taken over much of the town, the more power has been afforded to daddies by the federal government. To the point where now Willie can order FBI agents to stay outside my house and keep me in quarantine. So I think, I think, <laughs> that this goes all the way to the top. Wow, mom. You've been saying things go all the way to the top for so long, but it seems like this, time, so this time for real, though. This time, this is, if it's for real. Norm, I think your mom's been doodlerized or something. Well, no, I've been w awoken. So wait, we can't go no. outside? If you want to get shot to ribbons by the wait, FBI. No, can, I, can I peek open the door? You peek open the door and you immediately see a floodlight right into your face to the point where you almost can't see anything and you hear a voice through a megaphone go stay inside it's safer inside from the mayor oh. citizen small citizen how are you guys doing out there though it's pretty dangerous for you too right we're good oh okay um <laughs> cool well if you ever feel like being safer maybe we can always take your turn you can come in here and we'll come out there sometime so anyways just uh keep Roll up the persuasion good work. with disadvantage <laughs> keep up the good work <laughs> Like you got cookies or something. Are you hungry? You boys hungry? Oh, disadvantage. I mean, I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> I got three. Okay, so three. They go, no, that's not. <laughs> we're not going to switch places with you, small child. That's fine. Just offer stands, and I just close the door. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. it's real. So they're out there. Norm's mom's like, oh, they're always at a draw. They can never, you know, win or lose. Well, that's exactly the same as like what, you know, normal saying, like, do you guys want me in the group or not? It's always the same draw. It's always the same, like even matched. Yes, yeah, sometimes we want you in the group. Sometimes we don't. So I'm just saying that what she's saying is bullshit because it's all a draw all the time. So there. As the leader of the group, I feel behooved to step up here really quick and just say a few things. 
first and foremost, Scary, you've been doing some real out of pocket shit lately, <laughs> namely vis a vis murdering our school principal and like just being a general. Oh, wow. I had no idea. Whoa. Oh, well, if that's the case, let me be the first to inform you that your actions have not been becoming a part of our team, part of this team of cool teens. Yes, Gary, oh, we made our choice. We made becoming? our choice, which was Link told you to get out of his house, and then you're still following us around. So what, mm. what are you doing here? Not becoming, not ladylike. Is that no, what it not, is? Go that, fuck yourself. That. Give me a red vine. Give me a red vine right now. Normal's mom goes, oh, of course. Yeah, let me get the red vine. And she takes out a big like cookie jar full of red vines. Oh my God, I would never tell another woman to do anything like that in such a harsh Yeah, she just wants to be a good host. Oh, okay. <laughs> she sure. knows it wasn't directed at her. She says that. She goes, I know that wasn't directed at me. Okay, okay. Sometimes you need a red vine. Yeah, I do. We also have Shasta Cola. <laughs> what flavor Shasta Cola would you like, Scary? Oh, actually, can I have Shasta, but... Is it too much, Mrs. Swallows Oak Garcia? Could you like water it down halfway? I can't have that much sugar. Uh, from, okay. a Shasta, Certainly, from a Link, Shasta? Mother, I will help you water down Link's Shasta. And Taylor, I believe we have several Ramones left over from the last time you came over. Ah, and Scary, good. if you would like a drink, you are welcome to one because this is a house where we host people. Cool. Um, where's the bathroom? It's uh, down the hall to your left. First one on the left. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, and well, then just by yourself. I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, what? Sorry? Sorry, what? 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 I don't know. Everybody hearts up. Sorry, <laughs> what was that, Link? It just felt like we we're in the middle of talking. It's just a little suspicious, scary. Can we just finish the talk? Do you have to go right now? Yeah, I can't hold it. Okay, well. So why don't you just cool it? Oh, okay. Well, fine. I will. Okay. But we'll all be. Uh, we don't want to listen to you, but just like. <laughs> There's no. Is there a window in your bathroom? An outside. Well, she's not gonna go anywhere. There's fine, a bunch of FBI agents outside. I don't know. But fine. we want her to go. I don't care if she goes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I, well, no. Okay. All right. Here I go. All right. You hey, scary. Any- Before you go to the bathroom, look me in the eye. <sighs> okay. When you're in there, you're only gonna go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> like you're not nothing else. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should fucking wash my hands. Huh? <laughs> you ever think about that? Okay. <laughs> Ew, like you're bathroom, a dirty boy. You always gotta wash your hands. The bathroom and wash your hands. Just, okay. Anything else? Just come out here and do it with all of us so we can all talk about it. Oh, sure. Yeah, why don't I just take a shower right here? I'll bathe in your blood, huh? Oh, okay, oh. fine. Whatever. Just go to the bathroom. Why are you acting weird? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just want to know why you're going to the bathroom alone. I don't know why you're making a big thing out of it. What a reversal. What a reversal. <laughs> That's gaslighting on the level of fucking midsummer. That's so good. Fuck. So you're in the bathroom. Yes. I'm going to put on the nightcap. Okay. So you instantly fall asleep and you instantly see a bloodied and harried looking Willie appear to you in your dreams. And he goes, <clears throat> Shit, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just gotta uh, use a hand here. Ha <laughs> ha. And he holds up Nick's hands. And he goes, ha ha, I got a hand. But yeah, no, fuck him. Oh, cool. I just got mine back. Oh, hey, good for you. Okay, so I'm back on like Earth, but not actually real Earth, obviously. Link um, puts his ear up to the door of the bathroom. Link, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm asleep. I'm in like a parallel <laughs> She's hung chewing. Yeah, okay. She snork me, me, me. Do I hear that? Why don't you roll <laughs> perception? And uh, Beth, you roll disadvantage. Don't act shocked, Beth. Like Scary hasn't done anything to not be. To She's be completely me. innocent. Seventeen. All right, Scary, you rolled disadvantaged stealth. I got a six. Honk shoe. Six. Yeah. Okay, so you Guys, can hear some she honk sleeps shoe when she pees. <laughs> <laughs> No. Whoa, that so, must be so relaxing. Is that what it's like for all girls? Is that why they take so long in the bathroom? They're all taking a nap? I wasn't being weird. Like, she put on the hat again. She's in there talking to Willie. Open the door, Normal. Do you have a key? Get her out of there. Uh, I start no. kicking the door. I'm going to kick the door down. Okay, okay, okay. And I, Scary. Um, I knock on the door. No. Scary, you're in there? All right, so nothing happened. She's asleep. I run back and I charge the door to break through it. All right. Uh, give me a strength check. 14 plus 2, 16. All right, so you (laughs) splinter the door a little bit. The joints look like they would take one more hit to get knocked off completely. And Mrs. Swallows out Garcia is like, what are you doing? But Link, come on, this is my house, dude. I what know she's doing? in there, though. Yeah, Don't yeah, yeah. Willie's she's in bad. The Willie's she's bad. She's allowed to be in the bathroom. Who, who raised you? <laughs> she's not supposed to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> on, that, we'll, <laughs> on that, we'll cut back to Scary's dream. So Willie goes, did you get the uh, the anchor? Yeah, we broke it. Listen, oh, they know I'm in here sleeping. I don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> I I just have two questions. Yeah. 
You're sure I should be trusting you, right? Am I sure you should be? I think it's up to you who to trust, kid. Yeah. But yeah, obviously you should be trusting me. I'm the only one who knows what the fuck's going on here. And I'm the only one who hasn't lied to you about anything. Yeah, that's true. Scourge and what should I tell know. them when I wake up? They're looking for some facts about the doodler, how to like destroy it and stuff like that. And I can tell them, you know, to destroy it with hate because that weakens it. But I need something a little more convincing. Something that will really make them uh, uh, be on my side. Okay. Let's see. I can tell you how to get to Goof Realm. I could... Okay. Tell you about the origins of the doodler and how it kills people. Here's what I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything about the whole plan. I'll tell you the rest of what we're going to do. You're going to destroy the anchors. You can get to Goof Realm by having the most horrible, most heart-shattering scam done to you. And once we've got all the anchors destroyed, we're going to head back to Daddy's HQ, and we're going to fucking do a ritual there, and that's going to allow us to communicate with the doodler, and that's when you, not me, are going to communicate with the doodler. So if they're scared of me, they don't have to be, because he's going to talk to you. Whoa. That's a lot of power. Yeah, like I'm giving you that power. So I would trust me. Fucking Jesus. Yeah. It's kind of weird that we're going this far and you're still not trusting me. It's kind of fucked up. You broke it with hate, right? The, the second anchor? Um, yeah, about that. It was like, it broke like violently in a cool way, you know? Like it's hard to break a guitar pick. He's getting but, um, angrier in his eyes. His eyes are narrowing. Um, no, it, it, got broken, it got broken with love. God fucking damn it! You had whoa. one job! Whoa, whoa, wait, hey. They're dumb! They're so stupid! Okay. And you're smarter than them! Yeah. It shouldn't be that fucking... <sighs> okay, well, you're so mad. It's it's not that big of a deal. Like, I I, I, I can fix this. I, I can fix it easily. Can, I can you? I, yeah. Can you? Yeah. Show me. Okay. And then with a start, you're awake. For the first time without your own control, you are just suddenly awake. Do I break through the door? Yes, you break through the door at that moment. I pull the hat off. This is it for you. I throw the hat in the toilet and start flushing it. I know how to get to Groove's from. Okay. Yeah. Did Willie tell you that? I don't know. There's no pee in this toilet. <laughs> oh, I'm literally the one thing. You look animal. me in the eye. I'm not an animal, Link. I peed and I flushed. I listened. I was listening the whole time. There's no flushing. There's Link, no pee. Link, Link you, you gotta be careful, bud. You're no. not looking good here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not worried about looking good. I'm worried about our friend you getting know, the, whatever wondered, Willie's doing. I defended you when they all called you piss boy. Yeah. That's what I, I was like, oh, Link would never. Link's not a piss boy. So me and you don't piss. Like That's great. A piss boy. I don't under, you didn't pee. I I don't, that's not even, the point's You're not about you pee or not. with pee. Well, a little, well, it's weird. You it comes out of your body. It's not like you just say a little. You drink, you drink a thing, and then like hours later, <laughs> it's not weird to anybody else here. And it smells weird. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't smell like any other part of me. It's just like, it, it's his own, anyways. That's not the point. The point is, just one second. You couldn't last literally one second after I put out a hand, and now you're just doing this. I just don't, what? Yeah, we can't trust you, Scary. I cool. just don't know why you are talking to Willie, and even if you want to talk to Willie, you could just ask us, or at least try to bring us into it, because now I don't know anything that he's saying, and how am I supposed to trust you when he can't even tell the truth about whether or not you have to go pee? We can't, Link. That's the whole thing. Cool. You want to send me on my own way? I mean, I know how to get to Goose Realm. I know what to do once all the, the anchors are destroyed. But if you want to throw me out on my ass, then that's fine. You just keep saying things to me like those are the things I said. That's not what I said. I've literally just been asking you what you're doing and what Mrs. you want Swall to do. Mrs. goes, it sounds like you could use with a little bit of compromise. So what I like to do in these situations is you limit what you're saying to I feel statements. Rather than assuming the other person's intentions, you just say, I feel this way because of the situation. And maybe that way you can come to a, a, a happy medium, a middle. Also, you owe me for that door. <laughs> Here's your half water Shasta Cola that I gave you because I'm a good host, unlike some and guests. here are your red vines and I throw them on the ground. Okay. Yeah, I, what? I'll eat them off the ground. No, well, that's rude. She didn't. I'm sorry. I'll go get a plate. Yeah, go get the yeah. new ones. Yeah. Like, throw those away and get new ones. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Scary can only eat red vines off a plate <laughs> with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucked up next week's teen fact. <laughs> I feel like Link is a little loser piss boy baby who <laughs> doesn't know what he wants. And so maybe I feel that you should kick me out. But I'm just saying it's going to be a lot fucking harder to get these anchors without me. And I feel like all I want to do is stop everything and all these people from dying. And my hand is open to you. And if you don't want it, that's fine. I don't care. I just don't know. I just don't care. 
If I have to do it with the three of you, then I'll do it with the three of you. That's all I want to do. Whatever you want to do normal, whatever you all want to do, I just want to get this done. And if you don't want to meet me halfway, then whatever. I, I don't. It's fine. It's fine. I feel fine. How about that? How about that? That's how I feel. I feel fine, too. Great. I feel confused. I don't know what either of you want. We want to stop the doodler. And I feel like we can't trust Scary anymore. I feel like she's betrayed us too many times. She's killed us. Literal person. A guy who finally, someone who would watch anime with me. And I don't think we can trust her. And having her loose out there. I mean, I think she's working against us. All in favor of expelling Scary from the group. Raise your hand. Or say I. Or say I. <laughs> Since this is a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I. 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 Well, well, that, no, well, that doesn't, I don't know if that She can vote. She gets a vote. Women I can vote. vote. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom pats you on the shoulder and goes, yes, they can. Three of you would be enough. You have just decided to expel her from the group. So the sizzling circle again appears in the world and Nick leans his head out and he goes, I figure you guys might actually need to, like, are you done? I waited like a half second. So it's, it's probably been like an hour in, in your world, right? So like, do you want to go somewhere now or what's the... Yeah, can I type you for a second? Yeah, I was actually going to want to talk to you as well. So oh, nice. you can step back into hell with him and have a private conversation. Sorry, does yeah. this violate the rules of hell where you cannot return after you've been... Ooh, good no note. Way? Yeah. So yeah, you try to step back into hell. Boom! But, ah, yeah. Fuck! Like a vampire in the Buffy verse when they try to enter a you place when they haven't You guys can use been. the den. It's over there. I just went down the hall. There's a lazy boy. Don't burn up the lazy boy by being hot on it. You know, you're like on fire and stuff. So just be careful in there. There's shag carpeting. So I wanted to burn down. Shag carpeting. It's the most so, burnable so room in the world. Nick steps in and his feet are on fire and he immediately tries to stamp out his own feet. And he goes, ah, ah, my, my feet. Stamp, somebody stamp out my feet. All right, feet. let's Help. give them some space. Just you guys can talk through this little portal. I'm going to go get a Ziploc bag for Scary's Red Vines, which she will be taking to go <laughs> right he heads to the den with you oh yeah i found your body by the way oh you know my body is wrapped around him like in a piggyback pose <laughs> <laughs> like a backpack yeah. yeah he's wearing you like a backpack and he kind of like shimmies his shoulders to shrug you off because he can't use his, his oh, arms and it just ragdolls into the ground like yeah. definitely like shit is bent the wrong way and stuff yeah yeah okay but you can be easily removed and put back onto your normal body ah my old friend nick my man and he goes you can have the lazy boy <laughs> Uh, Nick, my man, we got a bit of a conundrum here. Our group is split. We can't trust one of our members. She's going her own separate way by her own volition. I need you to quarantine her. We can't have her. She's gonna. She's fucking up all of our plans, and I need you to make sure she can't muck things up because she's working for Willie directly. She's got a direct line with him. She talks with him in her sleep. She talks in her sleep. That might be a separate thing, but she's talking to Willie in her sleep, so we can't trust her. Hmm. So you see Nick sort of sit down on the couch and you get the feeling that if he had his hands, he would be resting them on his chin and like coming thoughtfully. You need me to stroke your chin, dad? Yeah, it, it helps me think. All right, that's good. Dang. Thank you. So you want me yes. to make sure that she can't do anything when she leaves you. You yes. want me to just like lock her up or something. Yeah. Trap her somewhere. Yes. I could. Why are you saying it like that? I, I don't know why I'm saying it. Like no, that. I mean, this is good. I like this. This is. Oh. I just realized this is the first time we've like properly done something together as father and sons, like a plan. We're like coming up with a plan together. I shake your hand, Dad, but <laughs> well, so that was going to bring that up as another thing is if she's got Willie on her side, I can't guarantee that she'll stay quarantined. Like he can probably find a way to find me. And the last time we fought, it didn't go super well for your. When dad. was the last time you fought? And he nods at his arms and he goes, "When that? When this?" Ah. Uh, well, the one anyway. I'd already lost the one. He got rid of the other one. Well, shit. What are we supposed to do, Dad? I could use some advice right now. There's no anime that I've seen that's prepared me for this. Well, son, have you watched an anime called Death Note? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yes, of course. A classic. You could always, in a sense, write her into your, your notebook. Or well, I could for you, if that's what you need. Wait, but which character? I don't see, like, I had a bunch of fan fiction, so it gets a little bit crude like, up we're in both my light. head. We're both oh, light. we're both... <sighs> Like near the beginning of the series when he was still just trying to be a good guy and kill criminals and stuff. You're saying she's a cr cr criminal? From what you told me, she sounds like she was a party to murder and she's working for Damn, the single kill. worst person I've ever met. kill her. Okay, that's fine. That's just wanted I'm to just present the option. That... You live in hell for long enough and your, your moral standards get a little wobbly. So that's Is good. Is there anywhere we can put her on ice, so to speak? 
Put her on ice. We could trap her in any of the realms, I guess. And if she can't find a way to get out of them, she might be stuck. What's the worst realm to abandon someone in that's still safe that we can maybe come back later? Yeah, so it can't be hell because you've already been to hell. So it would have to be either the goof realm, which I don't know how to get there, Earth, as I knew it, or here, but it doesn't really do Wait, anything. Wait, but if we keep... Oh, like hold on. If we keep her on another realm, doesn't there a time dilation effect? Oh, God, yeah. She might be like 40 by the time you get back. Yeah. Oh, mm. what direction does it go? That's right. It's a short amount of that time there is a long amount of time here. What's the safest place on old Earth? Safest place on old Earth would probably be with uh, Aaron O'Neill and her trees. No, we were down there. That place sucked. You were down there? Uh, she was probably not. You, that's why you all got out. She's cool. And on, remind me to in the show. How did we end things with Aaron? You stole her son. Poorly. <laughs> oh, right. Poorly. You stole yeah. the son and ran away. Her only source of food for her and all of her trees. Yeah, dad, that's cool. Mm, I'm just, you know, just, mm, I take it you haven't been back there? No, no. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Just take it from me. Probably not a tenable solution. Okay. Well, almost everywhere on Earth is really deadly because of the Doodler's influence. So, oh, 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 oh. Is the International Space Station still <laughs> floating around Earth? Let me do some Googling. Do you know what I'm saying? Is yeah. the ISS still up there? Yeah. Or is all satellites? It's going to be 30 years in orbit. It'll at least be there at 2030, but it'll be crashed intentionally in 2031. So I feel like, yeah, because, yeah, the ISS is still in the sky. What if we it. put her? In the, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. The doodler's in that realm, though. Yeah. Oh, the doodler is blocked access to the sky. It's around the Earth, hasn't it? Yeah, but like, it's like the size of the universe to some extent. It's both like really, really close and really, really far away. So you can't see the moon, but you can see the ISS. <laughs> yeah. What if we put her in space? <laughs> okay, I guess we could do that. I don't have a spacesuit for her. Well, but the ISS has a oh, number. Oh, it's got its, of, it's yeah, oxygen. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I guess we could try that. All right. All right, son. I love this plan. So here's what's going to happen. <laughs> Now we'll cut to somebody else. Can I roll to save the nightcap from being flushed? Yeah, I think with advantage, because it's hard to flush something of that size. It's hard to flush a hat. Let's check if it does flush or not. I'll tell you right now, it did not flush. It's too big to flush. 16. All right, so 16. So you grab it. Okay, then I grab it. Now it is normal's (laughs) bathroom. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It is normal's bathroom, so you're both going to have to make a constitution saving throw for reaching into that toilet. Go ahead and roll con saves, both of you. Bro, you gotta you gotta spend like three weeks in quarantine, just like the Apollo astronauts <laughs> did when you get out of that bathroom. I, I dog. save. Okay, I got fourteen. We'll call that a save. Okay. okay, that's close enough. Okay, so yes, go ahead and try to take it from her. Give me sleight of hand. Scary. Give me a pose sleight of hand. The kind of natural one. I got sixteen. Okay, great. So you try to grasp at the hat. She moves it out of the way. Aww, your hands keep going, and you smash her hands. Are piss boy's fingers slippery from piss? <laughs> I oh, fall into. Yeah, you know what happens is with your one, you miss, you slip. Your hands go into the toilet, and you piss yourself. <laughs> I piss myself. Yeah. <laughs> your br- your brain is just so used to being what in is the toilet. In my bathroom. It's like okay. hot water oh, when you sleep. And guess what, yeah. Link? What? I did pee, and I didn't flush. <laughs> I've just been drinking a lot of liquid, so it's clear. <laughs> I'm just I'm, super hydrated. My kidneys are fucking killing it. Link just tries to hold back a single Elijah Wood tear from the Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> and he just goes, it's fine, Scary. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad you went to the bathroom. That's it's fine. Fine. I just walk out of there. And you pass out Taylor who gives you like a thumbs up. And I turn around to Taylor. I go, yeah. Yeah, this is my pee too. Just so you all know, this is my pee. I peed myself. <laughs> That's okay, man. I got some. I got. Yeah. I got spare I was, pants. I wasn't you asking if it's okay or not okay. I was just letting you all know because just trying to keep the. I'll go ahead and wash those here. for you, honey, so you don't track it around my home. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. I take off. I take off my pants. Okay. Probably shouldn't take off my underwear. No, I got a long shirt on. Well, I just we, take I off have, everything. <laughs> You're yeah. Winnie the well, Pooh. I, I don't nope. need to worry about the long I hold, shirt. I, I, I hold I hold my underwear and my Normal has some under, my, spare underwear I, I, I can get you. I, I got you, man. I got I'm you. I'm holding my underwear and my and my pants out to her. Okay, so she thank you so much. Oh god. And she takes them away. And she goes, hey, Norma, thanks can you, for the, can thanks you get for the, some of your underwear and some of your, your th- pants? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Thanks for the Shasta. And, uh you can just tell me how much the door will cost and you can just send the invoice to my house, I guess. Okay. Just, I'm not gonna wow. do that. That's okay. I just walk you, away. Kids will be kids, it's not a big deal. And she goes and you hear the dish, the, you hear the laundry. The dishwasher. Yeah, she could, we, we wash this with our food. All right, Scary. Well, I hope Willie is better than this guy. And I point to myself so, because, uh, yeah, I walk away. Nick leans on the door jam of the den and he looks at all of you attempting to walk away from gonna, one another. I was going to walk house. into their conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, just sure. a shirt on. That's funny. Yeah. So you walk into their conversations. Okay, so they're coming bad. up with this plan right, and you have no makes, shirt on and you smell like whoa. this. 
Wow. I peed myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think you need to be a part of this conversation. And Scary's leaving. Yeah, she is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <What> is <this? laughs> dap. And he fucking fist bumps you. <laughs> fist bump my dad. Fucking fist bumps you so hard. <laughs> I have such a good relationship <laughs> with my dad. We love each other so much. So tight. Cool. Dad's hooking it up. Yeah, don't worry. I got an idea. Hey, Scary. What? Do you want to get out of this popsicle joint? You want to blow this popsicle salesman? What? Salesman? Oh, Wait, no! Um, the FBI I'll get just busts the door down. <laughs> whoa, 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 get on the ground, get on the ground. Yeah, I want to get out of here. All right. So he uses his horn to carve another portal into the world. And this one, you can see, lands back in a quasi familiar spot of this universe. So you think. And he goes, after you. I'd be suspicious of him. I think so you would I be th rightfully suspicious <laughs> of him. Yeah. Of Can I roll? Insight. Yeah. <laughs> I got an 18. Wow. So you know exactly what <laughs> You can immediately see that like what he's showing you is the window out of the International Space Station. <laughs> he put the portal so close to the window that he was hoping you would just see the doodler's body and think that you were anywhere on Earth. But now you can see the reflection in the light and see the corpses of the other ISS astronauts just floating around aimlessly in the fucking ISS. <laughs> no, thanks. I'll show myself out. I cast my cantrip poison spray at him. Oh, wow. What? Great. So he failed his constitution saving Scary, throw. Scary, don't mace my dad. So you mace him with this poison, <laughs> piss smelling mist. And he goes, ow, fuck, ow, fuck, ah. And he leans over in pain and his head is on the other side of the portal. And he goes, oh, fuck, Jesus Christ. Oh. His head goes through the portal and he knocks the back of his head against the window of the International Space Station. You see cracks begin to form. <laughs> and he, he fall, and when he hits his head against there, he falls unconscious. And as he falls unconscious, he can no longer keep the portal up and it bisects him. <laughs> What? what? And so his legs are just sort of hanging out in oh, your room and the rest of where, his body is where, on the like other side. Where, like at his hips? Yeah, at his hips. Darth Maul style? Yes, he's Darth Mauled in front of you. Oh, yeah. maybe oh. Oh. Cool. I'm going to be out here. Maybe with my help, Willie and I can even the scales against the mayor. I walk out the front door. Dad! As she's stepping out, I'm seeing that you cut my dad. Well, I guess my dad cut his own head off accidentally. She was indirectly responsible for his death. For yet another death. When she's also, outside. his stump and his, the rest of his body fall down and are leaking blood onto your shag carpet. Oh, God. I'm going to cast Spike Growth outside the door so that Scary can't just walk away from this. Okay. Uh, it's difficult terrain, piercing damage every five feet that the creature travels. So I think what it is is I see Scary trying to just walk away from this, and I kind of lean out the window, and I deploy my caltrops okay all outside towards the fbi and in between where she's walking great i feel like the reason i didn't get a chance to react was because i was putting on normal's underwear so that i'm not gonna make it thank sure. you thank you solo so garcia and i'm going to try to get in front of the door do we want her yeah. to leave or not yeah, what are you guys doing you guys are so obsessed with making a decision and something coming from it but then you can't even make up your minds about whether or not you want me to get out of here no, so you, i'm gonna get out of here well scary i've made a decision okay and the decision is, we gave you an option, and you didn't take it, and now you're dangerous. So you're not going anywhere. That's my decision. You're staying here. We don't trust you, and I can't let you go because Willie's dangerous. So yeah, good luck. You're not going anywhere. We haven't had a long rest, so I can't do any spells. You got I red I feel like I feel like when you get a red vine, yeah. Red red vine, a red vine and a Shasta is a short rest, and a red vine is a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> you're not leaving. That's it. Like, you wanted a choice, but now that we're on op sends, like, you're dangerous to us. You're not leaving. If you want to get through us, you'll have to kill me. Okay. I guess I'll make myself at home. I cast Fireball. All our days whisked away. But is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. Used to tell myself it'll be all right. Pretty lies that we sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than myself. I know I'll get this right. It's just a matter of time till we make it out alive. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. We live for tomorrow, make steel and bow, break where we can't change. We gotta pick ourselves up and say,
Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson. Anthony Birch is our DM. Will Campos is Normal Oak. Beth May is Scary Marlowe. And myself, Freddie Wong, is Taylor Swift. Special guest Jimmy Wong as Jody Foster. Our theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Courtney Terry is our community coordinator. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing. And Robin Rapp is our transcriber. This podcast is directly supported by a Patreon. It consists of fine members such as Patty McMillian, Tatiana Harnos Jameson, Kun Mermans, Andrew Bear, Kai Newell, Scott Early, Fabes, Kim Hullerberger, Brian DeRoche, Parker Rowell, Tanner Ely, Matthew P., Logan Shook, Ethan, and Clint. If you're looking to support this show directly and skip out on our hilarious ads, you can do that by becoming a Patreon supporter. You can join in on live listens every new episode release in our community Discord. You get ad-free episodes, and that's on top of the hours of bonus content there to fill your ear holes. Some of you may be binged through and are caught up now. Well, let me direct you towards our Patreon, where there's way, way more stuff to listen to, watch, and enjoy. We're just a normal podcast. Just an innocent podcast. You can support us starting at just five dollars a month. Get ad-free episodes, hours of bonus content, and more at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads. If you want those ads, by the way, we do put them up on our website. That's at dungeonsanddads.com. Our Twitter is Dungeons and Dads. Our merch is stored at dungeonsanddads.com. Our subreddits over at Dungeons and Daddies. Our next episode, that's coming out April 11th. We will see you then. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. We live for tomorrow. Wait, Hermie had a vote. What are you doing here? So there's four of you. Jody. There's four of you and then one of Hermie, so five. So three people would be I'm enough. A passive listener. <laughs>